Bye. Real life. I'm trying. This is really dangerous territory, Bryony, oh, because gosh. when I'm with you, I have laughing fits, and I have to be professional. Um, yes, you do. Yes, I do. Now, hello, people. Welcome. I hope you're all good. We are. Um, we are here to tell you about some very nice <gasps> lipsticks, aren't we? It is. Give us some hearts, guys. Come on, let us know you're there. Yeah. Oh, there is lots of hearts. I know it's so through. cute. Hi, oh, guys. It's very nice. And um, um, yeah, we we. This is a one one off. It's the first ever and it's exclusive. It's, it's never exclusive. been done before. Never been done before. And this is the world, we're talking about the world's first matte lipstick with a hyaluronic core. Can you see the little white bit there? It's so satisfying, that white bit. It I is so satisfying. You. What I love about this white bit, Brian, and you're the makeup artist, so you know all the stuff, but it doesn't mix. Like you put it on and yeah. you don't get a bit where there's no lipstick and then the lipstick round yeah, it. Yeah, I find that really amazing how that doesn't it happen. Just, it, yeah. Because when I put it on, I was like, well, surely it's going to have just like a massive line in it. No, you don't. But it, it doesn't. It's the pigment of these lipsticks are stunning. Yes. They glide on like a really strong pigmented matte lipstick, but they feel really satiny. And the thing that I just... I, I literally wore it the other day, all day, and I wore the flame one. Which we both love. And I was topping it up just because, obviously, I was eating, and it was a really long day. I wore it for, like, 15 hours, love. And um, it just didn't feel like I had anything on. Normally, when you're wearing a matte lipstick, you're you, aware. Yeah, and it's crusty, and it just gets a little bit sore, and usually you have to take off the lipstick to reapply it. Yeah, but also... They fade really nicely. So if you wear it all day, you look in the mirror and it's like you've got a little blush on your lips. So listen, just to kind of go back to the beginning, these are called Hydramatic Matte, okay? These are brand new. They're, no one's ever done anything like them before. They are absolutely beautifully made. Yeah. The formulation is incredible. In the middle, so you've not only got hyaluronic acid. By the way, my mum got scared. She, she doesn't understand that hyaluronic acid is not an acid. It's just, yeah. it's a moisturising factor. It takes a while sometimes. Um, so hyaluronic acid and then glycerin, which is the most amazing yeah. moisturising factor as well. And then your lips, like you you just feel hydrated and healthy it and just plump really and smooth. Nice. Gorgeous. And really a lovely taste. Now we've got we've picked four of our favourites. We have. We'd love to know what your favourites are. If you guys have tried them already. If you, oh sorry, I just kicked you. Um, but also if you haven't tried them, um, let us know which ones you'd like us to try because we've got them all here. And yeah. obviously they are doing a lovely little bundle, so you get the lip liner and the lipstick. Twelve um, pounds fifty. Twelve pounds fifty, yeah. which is an absolute. Bargain there are 15 in the collection so there's something for everyone and also what I found is and we'll try them on in a minute but some of the ones I didn't expect to suit me you actually tried one on me and I was like this is spectacular so be a bit I yeah. think buy one that's in your safety zone but also buy one that you wouldn't normally go yeah. for yeah be a bit experimental just kind of I always say to people if they're drawn to a lipstick get it and then just literally put it on as a little bit of a kind of like a tiny bit of a stain should i do that now with this one because yeah. this is the one is that the is that this the one that you found scary and right. it was scary and i've got my little matching lip liner just quickly though bit of bit of housekeeping if you do fancy buying something you'll see a picture on your screen so click on it you can buy it through there and if you've gone through your avon reps link that will go straight to their online store okay but i'm doing here we go i'm gonna do hydra ruby which is one i never thought i'd wear i put it on her you did <laughs> and they all come with their own friends their best friends so this is the lip liner which is cherry jubilee it's a glimmer stick so i'm I'm going to put this on. I'm not as good at putting lipstick on as you are, Bryony, so I'm going to do my best. Okay. You can, would you, I, I, as a makeup artist, would you normally put on your lipstick, then your lip liner? So this is the thing. There are no rules. I don't like it when people say there are rules in makeup because makeup is supposed to be just sheer joy. It is for me. So if you want to mix and match, do whatever you want, do whatever you want. You can. But I feel if you're not um that secure and you feel not very confident in lip liners and sometimes putting a lip liner on straight away can be a bit like oh i don't know is it going to be too heavy or not put your lipstick on first like i've done like that so it gives you that kind of guideline straight away and then you can do your lip liner and then you can really fill out that gorgeous pout and just any bits that you have you know you've made slipped or anything like that but this will just perfect it so yeah. i do a bit of both sometimes i do my lip liner sometimes i do my lipstick it really depends so um, I, oh god it's a perfect match so this is let me just repeat this is the cherry jubilee mixed with the hydra ruby it really matches yeah. perfectly. and i've also got to say guys that these lip liners are beautiful so even if you're going to go with the kit don't be afraid of maybe getting a couple of extra 
lip liners because honestly especially if you're a makeup artist out there or if you're just someone that loves makeup these lip liners are some of my favorite they glide, they glide on. on they glide on they are so beautiful you don't have to drag your lips or anything like that they, they really blend are. really nicely too okay and i've got a couple here that i'm going to do nude now the the one that it comes with with the nude is very very nudey let me just show it to you on my hand really beautiful color that will work perfectly on some people but as you can see i'm quite dark so it won't work amazingly well on me but i'm still going to show it to you anyway um that looks stunning. so this, so this is i'm going to come a bit closer don't knock the table i'll try not to that is a shade i, I would that. never in my life have worn now i think it would work better with a bit of minimal eye makeup but it is I feel very Parisian chic when I wear it. I think it's beautiful. So that is, yeah, Hydra Ruby, a colour I never thought I could wear. Absolutely gorgeous berry shade. Um, oh, thank you. That colour looks fab. Good evening. Order the pe peony. We're going to talk Ooh, about Oh, I that. love peony. Peony is like the everyday yeah. favourite. I wore it the other day and my mum was like, you look amazing. And my mum never compliments really? makeup unless it is top. Now, um, I'm just going to show you quickly just because I did my lip liner first. But as you can see, it's very nude. So it's actually quite nice if you want to make your lips look a little bit bigger. I like that. Yeah, it's really, really nice. But it's a very nudie colour. So the one that I also would kind of go for for it is probably Spice. Uh, yeah, Simply Spice. I love that one. Um, that would be a staple, Simply yeah. Spice. You could have a go with it. But I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna stick this on. And I, I literally have been wearing nude all day today because I love it. If you're a kind of all about the eyes kind of girl and you like a bit of a smoky eye then nude is one for you however do you, what is your view on people wearing like red lipstick and big smoky eyes do you like it or not really again i just think do you know what if no you rules. feel confident and you want to rock it then you rock it personally i feel too made up when i do that yeah so the other thing that i always say to people is if you really want to wear a red lip for the evening that's kind of your whole thing you've got a beautiful dress you're like i really want to rock it with a red lip put your lipstick on first so do your makeup ignore your eyes put your lipstick on so do your foundation bronzer all of yeah. that put your lipstick on before you do your eyes because then you're dressing your makeup around that red lipstick or that dominant color that you want do you know what i like doing so you get tell me yeah dress around your lipstick and your fragrance it's really Ooh. fun and also i know someone who puts out their lipstick and their fragrance the night before and then the next day they're all inspired to choose their outfit around it Wow, it's really nice. Is... Yeah. Oh, that looks really See, it's quite good kind of on you. Like, it's quite cool. That's so nineties, but really set. You look sexy. You're like That's the kind of like, and also as you can see, I've got not loads of eye makeup on, but I've kind of gone for a smoky kind of look. But I love that nude. Um, and then I'm just going to show you with the spice line. So you can do so much with just one lipstick, which I really love. Uh, love that lipstick on first, then eye makeup. Yeah, honestly, that's what I do a lot because I, I'm one of these people that I. I do my makeup differently every day. I know that sounds weird, but I do. I don't think you're a makeup artist. That's what you should. No, but I know those people that are makeup artists that don't do that. Really? Yeah, they stick I like with the your same creativity. thing. I just get inspired by it. But a lot of the time, when I pick an outfit, so say like you know, I've got a special occasion, I'll be like, right, I really want to do like a nice smoky eye, and I talk about it with my friends. I'm like. We always go, okay, great dress, so what are you going to do, jewellery and makeup-wise and hair-wise? And I do. I'm always like, well, I really want to wear like a purple lip. Perfect. Then dress the rest of your, you know, maybe a little feline flick and a little bit of a lash. And that's it. I like that a lot. Um, and just to remind you, this is the world's first matte lipstick with a hydrating core, which means basically the more you wear it, the more hydrated and plumped your lips get. It's like wearing the most amazing lip balm, but then you've got the pigment and the look of a matte it is ridiculous and beautiful um and just to remind you the lipsticks have an introductory offer so they're eight pounds at the moment they will be going up to 10 pounds which is still amazing. an amazing deal and if you want to get a liner and a lipstick duo that's 12 pounds 50 okay and you'll see little pictures on your screen you can click there and that will link you oh yeah website. okay so lit i've now teamed up i've just over the top just because i wanted to show you this is simply spiced with that lipstick so by just literally having Having two lip liners I have changed slightly the color you see it's gone a little bit more peachy yeah really lovely you kind of mixed them yeah um, and I just think they're both gorgeous right I'm so gonna go with I'm gonna go with Hydra Peony and this is the one I wear a lot like most right days at the moment so I'm gonna put that on I've still got a slight berry stain like I've been eating too many blackberries uh, but this is just a lovely every day that is that no that's what I was gonna say is that the Corey one the Corey no, one's next that's next I love this it's so easy 
that is gorgeous mm. did you say that was peony mm. yeah i put that on at the um at the event the other day and i really it's liked gorgeous. it now i'm going to mix peony with mystery mauve that's the line that it goes with it Ooh. <laughs> it's just mystery mauve because it's a mystery. mystery right so here we go that's really nice again mm. if you found the nude too nude and kind of like i call it deathly because everyone some people you can put a nude on and it makes you look slightly deathly that's fine not a problem this is what i love about this collection is that you've got some nudes but you've got a few to pick from you've got some kind of more plummy tones you've got a few to pick from and same with the reds depending on your skin tone because some people put that nude on and it will just wash them out completely this is the color that you go to next because it has still that beautiful pinky nude but it's just got a little bit more you. lift it's really nice i feel i really like this yeah that I is a really, really nice really one and i think the liner is just a slight tad darker and it you wouldn't know but it just brings out a yeah. pout it gives you a little bit of a pout i love that and combo. again it's just a re again it's more it's still a pinky nude but it's just a little bit more punchy than the normal so nude. just to remind you because people are asking it's the hydra peony um, this is like my everyday one and it's been mixed with the glimmer stick in mystery mauve and they go together beautifully so um so that's a favorite of the mine. one i'm gonna go with is hydra mauve so this is my one here really enjoy this color um, it's a little bit more, again, it's probably in the nude family, I'd say. Um, and it's a tiny bit more, I'd say, bluey undertone, but not too blue. Oh, I like um, that. Yeah, it's really lovely. And also, can I just say, I really like the bullet. So I put the bullet on, the high, you know, that you've got the hydro claw, claw, core. <laughs> hydro claw. Very <laughs> comes yeah. out to you. <laughs> um, and then you can turn it round and use the tip as your liner if you don't want to use liner if you feel insecure about using like whatever you can use the really beautiful point and shape of your lipstick to yeah. do your liner i was saying to Bryony recently that um someone once told me the way you use a lipstick says a lot about your personality oh, yeah. so like my li i've been using this a lot i don't know what that says it's kind of like a yeah bit. do you kind of like a yeah like uh, 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 yeah, yeah it's really no, funny, i keep mine it? pretty much the same yeah, you keep yours round don't there's you there's the move um and i'm oh, gonna turn that it brings up out your eyes that really brings yeah it really eyes. does it makes them look kind of greeny yeah. doesn't it? it does and i'm gonna match that with the liner that comes with it in the package in the little kit is blushed nude blush nude i like blushed that. nude mm. I, like, I actually really like blush nude lip liner as well in fact that really suits you i am gonna take all of these and put these in my kit these look like yeah. because they're phenomenal especially this beautiful purpley one and this one is called deep plum it's stunning uh, let's have a look at deep plum and also she's doing that, i'm just going to show you deep plum there are some of these colors that you think oh no they're far too dark for me and yes they might be more towards darker skin tones but don't be put off because at the event there was a lovely girl who had really similar coloring to you yeah, yeah. and she had like this gorgeous purple suit on. i was like i want to put the purple on you i was like can i please put um the is it viola gray no uh, i think i think I you put was on like a, a proper hardcore purple on her it was you, was it oh gosh now we don't See the know caramel purple it was it, but she looked spectacular it, it was, was oh yeah no, not that one which one yes, was it? it was the purple i'm sure there was a purple Look at us, like what you what you're saying. Saying again, your age. Are you joking? You can't Come say on, that. no. I've got to that age, guys. It's happening. And Cara's saying she loves there are so many shades and such a variety. Irena says um loves the peony. Um yeah. Plum. The plum. I think it might yeah, be yeah, plum, I think it was plum. And it was absolutely stunning on her. And I thought this is only really gonna look really good on darker skin tone. But it didn't it looked beautiful on her so even i was really shocked but i was just drawn yeah. to it i was like this has got to be on you these are these are easy to use i find i get stressed by lipstick and i always have and when i wear a really matte lipstick i find that i get it on my chin yeah i get it on my nose i've got a big nose i get it on my teeth and then you get the little crumbly bits um i think avon like asked nine thousand people about how they feel about matte before they did these really? lipsticks. So they really, really went to town to get this right. And, and they've been working research. on this for years. Yeah. This isn't just, it's hard to formulate this, I think is really, really hard to get that working. So, um, well done, Avon, we it, love it. Yeah, um, it's stunning. What's your... Now, this is Hydra Blush, which I'm really excited about. I think this is the Corrie one. See, this is the Corrie one that I think will look amazing Do you think it'll look nice? in the summer oh, as in the well. Summer. Let's go. I'm That's kind of gutted that you chose that, because I'm kind of like that. Do you want it? No. Oh. I'm going with, guys, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go plum. Is plum the purple one I was just talking about? I think plum is, yeah. Oh, for goodness sake. 
So okay. this Ooh. is. <gasps> oh my god, this is such a summer. <gasps> I really like that one. I didn't even see that the other day. Oh, yes. Oh, it's got a really good pop. How nice go, is that? Go a bit closer. I'm going to go closer. I want to do my liner, but... That's really nice. It's almost neon -y in a weird sort of way, like a neon peachy kind of... I comedy. love that. Right, and now I'm going to match this going with... Um, so this is with Rose Wine Lip Liner, okay? I do love the it. names as so well. Do I. And also... Each one, I know it sounds a bit silly, but each lipstick really is the correct name. Like I was like, oh, I really want that lovely plummy colour. And it's called Plum. <laughs> I just think that's quite helpful. Um, oh, love, Coletta saying. The Plum is good. Okay, I'm going in with the Plum, guys. Okay? Go in with the Plum. Um, hopefully it'll suit. Who knows? Can I say one thing? When you're like normally trying on loads of lipsticks and taking them off, your lips start feeling horrible. And this is just proof of how yeah, my jokes are. Like, it doesn't feel at all annoying in any way. I was just thinking that. Yeah. And this one, I've got really wonky lips, by the way. Have you? Yeah. I once had a face cast taken of me at college. Don't ask. But basically, so you see yourself in 3D. So my face, I was holding my face in 3D at me. And my lips are so wonky. You've got gorgeous lips. It was bizarre. You've got proper, like, I don't, I, fresh. Um, <laughs> Don't, don't, just don't do it. Don't do a cast of your own face. It's very strange. Can I, I'm sorry, I just have to say how nice this is because I actually, I think this might be my new favourite. I always, look at that. What one's that again? So this is Hydra Blush, which is a really good one for the summer. Oh my goodness. I think that's really hot It's a Hydra Blush with rose wine, um, beautiful, bright, light coral. Um, and just a reminder, you can um, click on the pictures on your screen and it will either take you to shop. And if this is via your Avon representative, you'll go straight to their online shop um, if you've joined via their link. And also um, they can advise you as well, which is very, very helpful. So this is Plum and it oh, comes... Yes. Yes. yes, huh? Yes. I do love a Plum, guys. That I brings love... out your eyes as well. Look, oh, look at your eyes. Don't look too closely. I'm very wonky. Why are your eyes so bright? That, so that is one thing that I always notice with people, especially if they've got a little bit of green in their eyes, go for a more purpley, mauvey, plummy colour of lip, instantly makes your eyes look greener. It's crazy. That and is this bonkers. Is, I know, and this is a lip liner that's just clear. So anyone that worries about having their lipstick bleeding yeah. or anything like this, and you, you're like, I can't do lip liners, get this. I met Perfect. someone today and she had beautiful red lipstick on, but they, um, it had just kind of like started moving out of, and I think as, as we get older, like I yeah. go more lines, it just moves in. I, I must say these lipsticks don't really do that, but that's a great thing to have. Well, that just yeah. stop it moving. So basically, yeah, yeah. it kind of forms like a barrier because really? they've got like lovely kind of waxy feel to them. Yeah. This is going to form a barrier so that lipstick won't bleed, which is great. So I feel like everyone should really get this, especially if you're worried about that. Yeah. And you can use it with all your favourite lipsticks anyway, so... Is it hydrating? It's really nice. You it, feels, it, it feels exactly like a lip liner. Yeah. I mean, like all the others. Such a great idea. Can I Thank say, you, Molly? Look how plump my lips are going from trying on all these lipsticks. I don't want to take this one off. I really like it. And I'm wearing navy. You, I you think do it works. look. You're going out later. I think you should wear that out tonight. But we have to show them the reds, okay? We have to. This is like the grand finale, okay? Yeah. Um, so. We both absolutely adore the siren one, don't we? It's called, um, oh no, sorry, we adore Hydra Flame. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to let Bryony. I know, Nicola's being so sweet. She was like, it's okay, you can yeah. have it. I'm not normally nice. It's just tonight I feel like I, know. Nice. I was like, thanks. And I was that friend that didn't go, no, don't. I went, okay. <laughs> I'm quite excited about this because um, this is... Siren Red. Siren Red. Now, yes. a lot of people, so people on the outspoken beauty trialing panel mm -hmm. um, who were trying this out, a lot of them said it was better than ruby woo whoa so there we go that's that's, that's a, a big statement. that's a big statement isn't that it that is so a statement why do we should we both do it at the same time okay yeah. here we so go we've got i've got flame and Show i've got siren red really close to see the difference because the light's quite nice you've got siren, siren red so do you siren see and flame. mine's got a little bit more warmth to it yours is a slightly a more clear boxy quick question um kirstie says what color would you recommend to pop blue eyes i mean to be honest with you any kind of nudie i mean same plum colors look amazing on blue eyes a friend of mine's got that too but like i think reds look amazing now i just wanted to share with you if you're scared of a color so say like you're scared of wearing a red do what i just did swatch it on the bottom lip and then with your finger blend it in don't put it on too heavily such a good idea and literally <laughs> i've just gone <laughs> but just like really give it a really simple wash really smooth that's kind of like a blurring effect and you see how it's not as 
bright as it could be. That's beautiful. But that's a really nice way of doing it. Then um, I'm going to go in with my lip liner, and then I'm going to go called top. your lip liner? My lip liner is called Ruby Shock. Okay, so Ruby Shock with your Hydra Flame. Yeah. And then I'll talk about mine in a sec. Oh, I love sure. that blotted look. So, and then so with the Siren Red, what you need is True Red, which is like the perfect red liner. And with me, I, I tend to find those bits really hard the side bits i often use a liner to fill in the side bits of my lips so if you want your lips to look a little bit bigger yeah. i did this the other day and so many people commented it instead of starting here and going around so start from the middle you know like your kusa and down start from the outer corner okay ah. so from the outer corner where you're finding that tricky then go upwards ah. Right, so naturally, when you draw that, you're going to go round in more of an arc shape rather than down. You're going to take it downwards. Right, that is such so a good that tip. naturally will go on that that line of your lips just here. Try and do it like this. See what I mean? You're going to do that shape instantly. You're just going to make it rounder, so it's going to make your lips look fuller. Okay. Same with the bottom one as well. Go from the inner corner. Go down. Again, it's just naturally you're gonna sweep it higher. So it will just give your lips that little bit more plumpness. It really does work as well. It's such a simple technique. And I've got a really pronounced cupid's bow, so I can't really overdraw my lips that well. Can I just say, mm -hmm. how, um, how lucky are we just to get to play with lipsticks tonight? <laughs> it's like my dream come true. Um, just a quick reminder then, so I am wearing the Siren Red, um, which is absolutely gorgeous, with the true red lip liner and this is what it looks like mine ha i haven't even gone full on with mine i've gone very full on um i'd normally block i've just done bit. my lip liner oh that's lovely on wait you. for it that's lovely go on go on it's got a I've, i'm going full now guys go i full. can't help myself come on and this is flame this flame is do you know what i think it's meant to be because there was another brand which i won't mention that had a lipstick called flame and it was my absolute favorite and they've discontinued it and this has now come out and it's called Flame. It's, it's like just it's meant you. to be. It's just it's meant you. to be, guys. Would you say that Flame, um, which of these two would you say would work on the most skin tones or would both of them work on any skin tone? Sorry, I just You can't... do look beautiful. No, right? it's just that, it's just, it's just the orangey like. You look beautiful. Um, I think most people will buy your one because it is a classic red. It's a classic red, red isn't it? It's got yeah. a slightly bluey undertone. It's gonna suit every skin tone. And I feel with this one, I think if you love more of a tomatoey red like me, like it just is an instant go to because I'm slightly more olivey skin tone. I just love this. Yeah. But some people are like, no, I prefer more of a brighter pillar box. I think most people will probably we'll go, go for that. Them. But um, can I just say something? Sorry, I was just asked to see the Viola Grey, which I'm just going to oh, put yeah. it on my hand for you, okay? This what is a lovely name. The Viola Grey. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to call a child that. That's very oh, good. that is really nice. Sorry about my hands, they're a bit dry. Um, but they're getting hydrated <laughs> but they are now. They're lovely nails. Look oh, at look, that. Yeah, they're Valentine's, Valentine's nails. nails. Um, yeah. I think you guys should definitely, definitely invest in a red for Valentine's Day. Yes, I think so too. So, I, yeah, I think um, if it was me, I'd go for one thing that is out of my comfort zone, Correct. one thing that is totally in my comfort zone. I think the lip liners are spectacular. Yeah. Um, so just to remind you, world's first matte lipstick with a hydrating hyaluronic core. There's glycerin in there as well. It's protecting your lips. Yeah. There are 15 shades. They're beautiful. They are stunning. And if you want to shop it, just click on your screen. Um, do you know what I nearly said then? What? I've been Nicola Bond. Oh my Isn't God. that awful? I'm, yes, I'm like, it's I, I, terrible. I would, I mean, I'd stop. never do that. I don't know. Stop yourself. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't. <laughs> okay. But also, guys, the thing is, and the amazing thing about Avon is that the pricing is always so fair, but you're getting incredible products, ingredients, and value for your money. So you know what they're like. They often will have a price and then they come down and they go up. At the moment, you are getting a really, really good price with them only being eight pounds. It's eight pounds for the so, lipstick, 12 pounds 50 if you wanted your pairing. And you can get these two individually. Individually. And then- I'm um, going to steal. Yeah, well, <laughs> and the very fact you put it in your kind of makeup case. So. Oh yeah, I love, I love yeah. it. Guys, thank you thank so you. much for joining us. We're gonna go, we're gonna let you enjoy, is it Thursday? It is Thursday. Enjoy your Thursday yes. evening. Thank you so much Thanks for everything. For I'm us. sorry we didn't get around to all your comments, but hopefully we answered some of your questions. Yes. Oh, bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. Take care. Enjoy your lipsticks. Lipsticks bring oh, yeah. joy to the world. That's what I think. Bye. bye.